Okay, welcome, welcome. I'm gonna catch us a Challenger's Cup game. I don't currently have a co-caster. If somebody wants to hop in, feel absolutely free. I'll be in the uh, casting, casting Discord if anybody's up for it. But no pressure either way. I don't mind doing solo cast. Innovation, welcome, welcome. Uh, let's take a quick look at the teams. I know they're still getting set up. Um, oh, yeah, that's a shame, Bezik. But yeah, me. let me pull up the... The, uh, the website, rebel.net. Uh, take a quick peek while they're still getting through inducements and such. Uh, we got an orc team versus some rats. Rational orc versus Dunware. Which is pretty cool. Just cast with Dunware yesterday. And now I'm casting their game completely unintentionally. By the way, I didn't actually know what teams were playing. I just saw the, the game needed caster. But we got a basic troll. Nickel Blitzer with a lot of skills. Some guard, some guard. Strength of Blitzer. Three Blodge Orcs. That's pretty cool. Um, Salinos and a Goblin. That's... Who cares? 1700 versus about... Eh, 1300? Just a couple skills and a Rat Ogre. Rat Ogre is cool. So we can expect to see a Wizard. We'll probably see some Babes as well. Um, <clears throat> Other than that, I don't think there's uh, too much else going on. Switch to Blood Bowl to see if they're in game yet. Nope, not yet. So we'll just banter for a little bit longer. I'm pretty excited about this. Um, It's probably going to favor the rats. Just because they're going to have a wizard and other inducements. It's going to be 12 versus 11. Mighty Blow Rat. And I just expect to see a little bit of carnage. Um, and switching back over to Rebel.net. Hey, Glava. Kicker's also really nice. Tackle Mighty Blow is going to help with the Black Orcs a little bit. Oh, my throat is really scratchy for some reason. And just in general, these, these Blitzers are a little more damageable than most Orcs. And I, I, the Troll could go stupid at a wrong time, but that can happen anywhere. Um... Minus AV for GFIs. Pretty cool, pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice elf team. Right. That's what I was saying. Let's see if we're in game yet. No, it's gonna gonna take a while in inducements. So how's everybody else doing? Had a pretty good day. Kind of a long day, but pretty good. Um I know. Went on a run earlier, and that was a mistake. Oh, actually, actually, I'm not sure if I told you all, but the game is up, and we can look at it. But um, I actually might not have as severe of asthma as thought previously. I might actually just have a vocal cord problem, where my vocal cords are opening and closing at the improper time, causing me to breathe very poorly. Honestly, Basic, I would take three blodge blurks, like, every single time. Like, <laughs> I would have no regrets about it, too. But I, I would think, like, I don't know. Depending on your, the division you're in, maybe the third Black Orc should have been, like, guard first and then block. But then it would have been guard dodge, you know? I don't have my fun numbers on the side because this is the, the sad pitch. Yeah, this this should be this is like a this is almost like human esque as as an orc team rather than just pure kill because they just have so much dodge. Um, as is standard for my casting style, we're going to look at the game from the offensive point of view for the half, not for the drive, for the half. And that's that's just what I do to keep it nice and consistent. It feels good that way. Um, I don't, I don't mind the troll. I think the troll actually has a lot of value in long-term leagues if you're looking at it from a long-term standpoint. Because most of the time, the troll levels, it gets guard. It's an amazing piece. You never apo it. Once it gets block, then it starts becoming apo, an apo target. I think. But I think, I think troll's solid in a long-term, long-term league. But I think like without the level, it's kind of la like just sad. Um, that being said, I think Goblin is a good pickup if you're not going for the thrower. 
just because it's it's already starting off dodge. If you get a double, you give it blodge, and it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, Dreamify, you, you got it. I, I think the troll is a, dr just a great piece in general. It's a relatively cheap piece for what you get. You get an AV9 regen piece, and unfortunately it doesn't have Thick Skull. I thought it did, but just... Trolls on most teams are just good. Like, even in the new rule set, I think trolls for Chaos and Chaos Renegades are just nice. Um, I think that 1600 is a good point to develop a troll, because you don't want to try to develop a troll, a, a troll when you need it. You need to develop it a little bit before. So I think you need to accept a little bit of weakness for a bit. But at the same time, I don't think putting in a troll over a line in is too much to be sad about. You'd go thick skill second skill on a troll? Not not guard stand there stand firm? Yeah, I, I'm I, I think the goblin's fine if you'd use it as a ball carrier and ignore the throw teammate shenanigans. That's that's what I think. But at the same time, you can argue you don't need to make a designated ball carrier. You just give it to a to a blitzer. Um, but you know, there, there's there's really like several decisions you can make, and none of them are really that different from one another. Get a thrower, get a goblin, use a blitzer, use a lineman that rolled a stat. Like it really, whatever. Uh Dreamify. I I like the thrower for just starting with sure hands. That's that's my basic idea. Like I just like starting with sure hands. That's a free skill. And it but it does have the minus one AV, minus one move, and everybody complains about that. And I get that. Uh, I think if your good thrower dies, you can argue carrying on an agi up blitzer instead. Um Okay, we see a nice offset line of scrimmage. We see offset defense. I love offset defense for fast teams that have kick. Uh, I, I even do it on Vampires with Kick. It's just, it puts your opponent in a strange spot, depending on the kickoff event, and especially the slower they are. In this case, I don't think the orcs are slow enough that it's really going to be abusable unless you get, like, a perfect defense or a blitz. Uh, that's like I agree with that 100%. I think there's a lot of teams you just don't want to start with the quote-unquote ball carrier. Because you need to develop the rest of the team. Uh, same with, uh, what is it, werewolves. Ignore the ghouls until you get at least a level or two on the werewolves. And then you can start leveling a ghoul. Um, similar with blitzers on a lot of teams, like humans. Uh, I, I think uh, ignoring catchers until you get a couple guard on the, the human blitzers. Uh, Waffle, no, this is four blodge. Oh, wait, yeah, it's three Blodge Black Orcs and then a Blodge Blitzer as well. Um, is it a Lineman Ball Carrier on this team? I think it's just a Blitzer. It's the, yeah, it's the Agi 4 Blitzer pickup. <laughs> Glava. That sounds pretty optimal, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's ridiculous. Yes. A um, pretty pretty high value hit. Does not result in anything though. That could have been very sad for Dunware if that was just first blitz out. AV8, no thick skull. It's pretty bashable. Oh, and I didn't even look at the inducements. I completely forgot. We obviously get the wizard. And we get Glart Smash Rip. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That's sensible. But yeah. Uh most of most of Dunware's cash, I think, is in the Rat Ogre. Because that's, what, a... 170 with with a level up? Or is that, like... No, it's, like, 160, right? It's cheaper than the Men of Minotaur. I think they're, like, 130. 1500? Yeah, so... But it's a, it's a good piece. Um, Jugs is a good skill. Unfortunately, does not have animals... The... What 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 is the kill, skill called? Of 1,500. I mean, uh, uh... 150. 150k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. 
But, uh, you know, it's not the new rule set. Animal savagery, that's what it is. That's, that's right, that's right. Um, do I think is more contentious the Roger or Mr. Throw? I think I think Mr. Throw just because I don't know. I don't think it's as big of a deal as the people like to say it is. Like it's a decision, but I don't think I don't think it's as big of a decision as people think. Like I think most people will agree that rat ogres are generally just like not meta. But also, depending on if you use them well, like, they're also, like, not horrible. Like, I think they pay for their team value. It's just you can argue that if you're giving up a wizard to have it, then you'd probably have been better with a wizard on most Skaven teams. Um, when was the last time <laughs> Dunware kept a team? I don't know. That is the meme. I've, I've seen them play quite a, f quite a few teams. I'm wondering... Whenever I watch Skaven's play, I always had to ask myself, is this ball sackable? And I think technically the answer is yes. Like, we could run some rats in and get, like, a one die on the ball. But I don't think now is the time to do that. Yeah, we're, we're just going in with Glart. We're getting some hits. Jugs it off. Alter induced big rat every game. That's actually kind of funny. I like that. Um, I think now you have a problem where you have to keep Glart safe. Right? Do you dodge Glart off? Go for the wild animal. Pretty standard wild animal shenanigans. And then you always know, the moment you blitz with the stupid thing, it's got a wild animal again. I think that's really why people hate Wild Animal more than the other Nega traits, is because when you use most of the other Nega traits, it's like, oh, well, I didn't get my block, or oh, well, they didn't move into the right spot. <laughs> when Wild Animal happens, usually it ate your Blitz. So the one, in, the one in six failure just feels so much worse. And honestly, I think if you start with Jugs on a Rat Ogre, I wouldn't start with Jugs on a Minotaur, because the only Minotaur you're taking is Chaos Minotaur, and in that case you're taking Claw, because yes, you are. Uh, I think if you start Jugs on a Rat Ogre, you can argue if you roll a double, it should be Pro, just to give you from a 1 in 6 into like a 1 in 10-ish. Or is it like 1 in 11? It's, it's, it really improves the odds a good bit on Blitzes. And then, like, you know, moving on the 50-50 is much better as well. I will say that is the upside of the wild animal, though, is you can go for the move and not worry about losing the tackle zones. I think that's phenomenal. I think that's, that's like, the best thing. And then in the new, new rule set, there's, like, no downside as long as you smack your own players. Which is cool. Like, guaranteed activations are cool. And then if your player's not there, though, you... It is a risk, because then you can actually lose Dackle Zones. So Minotaur still got a bit on it for there. Yeah, yeah, you, you give it the Swarmling pieces. Or, or in the case of Renegade, you let it smack around the, the Orc. Until the Orc becomes valuable enough that you don't want to do that. But so far, not much damage coming in. Really opportune hits coming in on really dangerous pieces. Uh, Glart just took the Blitz. Rat Ogre's taking a Blitz. Strength 4 Mighty Blow's taking a Blitz. And none of them have gotten knocked down. And, like, well, none of them have suffered any damage. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Frenzy, Frenzy Jugs is really good. I mean, yeah, you could do that. Or you could just accept... I mean, I don't actually mind the plus AV-ish. But, like... At the same time, ideally you're just like... <laughs> uh, the AV9 should just be good enough. But we've, got a, we've got a solid cage. I'm wondering what sort of philosophy Dunware has about wizards. Oh yeah, with the reduced cost, I think, plus 10k, if you have a player that's just meant to get hit around, I actually don't think it's terrible. Um, 
Like, imagine you have a just a piece that's meant to be an annoyance, then just slap AV on it for 10k. That's actually not terrible, I don't think. Especially the changes to Claw. Because you just seem so much less Claw. But I w I'm wondering what sort of wizard philosophy we have here. Is Dunware a fireball user? Like, because me? Boom, I'd be throwing this fireball. I'd be taking this ball. Yes, let's go. Oh no, that's a horrible result. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, but on the bright side, that means they just don't have to level a skill for 18 SPP, and then when they do, they get like 10k. That is an unfortunate fireball. I don't think they're... I think that was like a good decision. That's a five-man fireball. Five potential mighty blow hits. But that that's really rough. I, I hate when that happens. But, you know, sometimes you hit the one in... What is that? Two, four, eight, six... Yeah, that's one in 32. <laughs> 32 different results, and that's the most sad of them all. But other times you throw the fireball, and it's like three pieces go down, and you pick up the ball and run away. But, I like this. You reroll that. Yep, you get it. Stay, follow, whatever. But yeah, we're going out of the ball. There we go. Bring Glart to Claw Blorks and they all are blodge. The most sad is no Noctips. Yeah, yeah, exactly, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, Waffle, it is more likely than a Dub Skull, but also you get to reroll the Dub Skull. So it's still sad. Um. Getting really base happy already. So, Dunware's offering up a lot of hits. Fortunately, not much Mighty Blow. Good night, Elioth. Thanks for popping in. Saying hi. I know uh, this is not a good time zone for most of my most frequent viewers. Okay, okay, we're going for it. And you don't have a reroll. Honestly, you could just punt that. I, I think you punt this. Like, if you get it back to here, even if the gutter runner goes down, you have a good chance of recovering it faster than the orcs can. Because the Black Orcs can't go back and defend. Most of the Blitzers are a little caught. The linemen are caught. Yes, punt! Woo! Yeah, that's a, that's a great result. Dunware is... You know, that's a great recovery from a mediocre wizard. And it's already turn four. Ball is way behind the orcs. They have no one in position to pick it up on this turn. Actually, no, this this lineman can... Two, three... No, no, it's move busted. Yeah, they have no one in position. Uh, Elias, uh, the ball was picked up by Gutter Runner, and then it threw it. Yeah, the, the Gutter Runner punted. It, it was, uh... It was getting it out of range of the orcs. Yeah, the orcs are in trouble now. No, no, it wasn't a Glart Blitz. It was actually just a uh, Mighty Blow Tackle Blitz. Strength 3. I don't know. I think Guard would have helped. But the Mighty Blow and Tackle probably wouldn't have done anything in that spot. Um, yeah, this is the Orcs Drive, so it's actually, like, really brutal for them. They're probably going to be going into defense 1-0, from the looks of it. This has gone south very quickly. Also, there's a Natty that I've just failed to mention. Would have made basing the Orcs riskier? Yeah, that's true. Um... <laughs> yes, Glava, you did. 
You did. It was a it was a perfect punt. Just out of range of uh, all the orcs from picking it up as well. Yep, that is the tackle. Depending on if this is a break, could be a zero zero half. Um. If okay, so here's my philosophy, right? The orcs can go for a score after the rats turn over and score, but the rats just get to play whatever defense they want, whether it's hyper-aggressive, prevent the score, or basically a DACA defense where, you know, you just kind of detach, slow them down, and then, like, not just not let yourself get super based and aggressed on. Yeah, yeah, Feller, it's a uh, Dunware. So I actually didn't do this intentionally. Uh, it just so happened to be the game that was going on when I was like, yeah, I can cast that one. <laughs> Why is the ball way over there? Glava's favorite thing. We punted the ball. Because Wizard came down, knocked down one of five players, was very sad. I picked up the ball in the tackle zone, took the second GFI, punt, boom. Orcs can't break, pick it up. <laughs> that would have been a break with Mighty Blow. I mean, that's true. That's true. But think about the think about the late later potential of that blodge. Also, also, um, if if this black orc also had dodge, it would have still been a failure. One into two. Didn't think about that, did you? <sighs> you have a good one, Elio. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, this is a good spot for the rat ogre. Like, you can leave it here now. That's that's great. That gets that really out of the way. Frees up the storm vermin to come bully and base the ball and stuff. <laughs> this isn't real life. This is much more serious. I love it. Yeah, this is a really aggressive ratting so far. This was basically as I expected. Just for this game to go with the uh, the wizard. And this is why you really don't want to do just a standard five-man cage. Because, like, this was the best possible scenario besides one that the wizard could have had on that cage. And the ball is still, like, very favoring the rats. I just think that when you're against a wizard... Just, just screen. Do double screen. Same amount of players, but you've got players in front. Um, it's pretty, pretty defensive. Uh, the wizard result wasn't great, but I think. Nah, nah, nah. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of the fireballs. They have a, they have less chance of a failure state than the, the lightning bolt. I, I'm a big fan of fireballs on cages when your opponent has the audacity to just cage up against a fireball. I think bolts are great when your opponent gives them to you, but I think if your opponent does not respect your your fireball potential, like, rip it. Show him who's boss. Because, like, I think that too many coaches get comfortable, like, oh, people don't use fireball. Um, I think if, if there were more stat-ups on the Skaven, like, sure... But uh, I, I just I just disagree on that. But that's like my my playstyle versus others. Like it's okay to have your opinion. I have mine because I, I don't think it's like a I don't think I don't think either of us are right. I just think that I just value fireballs because like I'm I'm usually looking for the fireball where if one player goes down, it's like oh well great that like sucks, but like it's still something. One one player goes down on a five man cage, either the ball scatters or you can get into the cage. Yeah, yeah. But like I don't know. E even like uh, certain certain times I'll use it on three players just with a one and eight versus a one and six. But ideally you're looking at a four player fireball and any of them going down is good. Is usually what you're, you're ideal. And then a standard cage. I just, I rip it on standard cages if I have any form of recovery or pressure. I just don't care. I am, 
I'm there to gamble on that. I'll take that. But yeah, this is a very bad spot for the orcs. Rats just ha rats have three, four players in range of this ball in scoring range. Uh, Feller, I don't blame you. Um, actually, I think one of my favorite players was uh, I th what what was it? This I can't remember the name of the team, but the player's name was Hawk. It was a legend pro elf blitzer that was triple niggled with blodge. Bludge step, fend, guard, and, you know, it was really hard to get down because of bludge step, fend, but when it hit the ground, everybody in the division found it with a dirty player, and it had, like, an 83% chance to be, like, casualty. It was hilarious. And, you know, similar, if you hit it with a lightning bolt and the armor breaks, it's just it's just off the field. It was really funny. I think it played every other game because it MNG'd almost every single game that it played. That At least in uh, the season that I played against them. But, like, I th what was it? The, the Sterling Hornets? I know it was, I'm pretty sure it was Clown Thulu's team. Um, just take the 2 plus dodge to hit the gutter runner here. I, I, I feel like you almost have to. But at the same time, like, does that even stop anything? I mean, it gives you another hit with the other black orc, and you follow up to base the ball. I don't think you can scatter the ball. It's almost definitely got to be run in here, boom, bang, bow. And then you get two players on the ball, ideally. That's what you're looking at. Um, these black orcs really... Eh. You can give up and say this is probably a surf anyways, or, well, this is probably a score anyways, and, like, surf this storm vermin. That's kind of funny. Armor break would do a lot. Uh, like, potentially you can armor break the gutter runner and the storm vermin. Um. There's no guarantees on that. Hehehehe. <laughs> Oh, Basic's beating a dead horse over here. But like, I, I, I don't, I don't blame the blodge. Like, how, how many times are you going to get to have three blodge black orcs? Oh, uh, these are not kill orcs. They are control orcs. Uh. And imagine how annoying it will be once they get guard stand firm, in like forty games. <laughs> oh. <laughs> More blorgs for short. At least they weren't like all uh dodge first. Also are we disconnected from the game? Did, did somebody disconnect? Yeah, okay. D Dunware, they are... They are, uh... Double-checking each other. Well, I was wondering what was going on. Yeah, th this, this is, uh, looking like a disconnect. Huh. Uh, tell, tell us about your, my control chaos. I mean, my my chaos were a control team until like they accidentally played too long and started getting mighty blown claw. Like, I like you know, I I did have a kill piece because you gotta have a kill piece, and but for the longest time I had one le like really leveled chaos warrior. The rest were struggling to get guard, but fucking. Connor had block, mighty blow, claw, and guard before <laughs> before I had four block chaos warriors because they were just struggling. And then I got the strength five became guard tense. Uh, my minotaur, you know, I had a minotaur who got block first level. It was awesome. 
How many times have they used dodge so far this game? How many times have they prevented any amount of dice thrown on them because they had dodge? Uh, yeah, think about that. You think about that? So, because, like, I think that's also a thing I see players miss sometimes, is it's like the argument was like, oh, yeah, well, by the time you get strip ball, a lot of people are going to have a sure hands piece. Yes, and it forces them to carry it on that piece. Because... <laughs> Well, you have a strip ball piece, so they have to carry it on the short hands. They can't just play willy-nilly anymore. Uh, th this is a DC, Bazic. Uh, we're, we're still we're still waiting on seeing seeing the resolution here. But yeah, like, and then once once the ball is in on the short hands piece, you hit it with mighty blow instead of the strip ball, and now boom, short hands dead, strip ball's live again. That's that's my opinion on strip ball. It's seeming like the opponent's internet might have died or something. Because they've been gone for a while. But it, it's like uh, 55 seconds before game is auto-concede. And uh, if that occurs, uh, that, that'll be the stream for the night. And from the current state of it, um, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know what y'all admins would do here. Yeah, okay. That, that's a rip. Um, I believe there's another game going on in like 26 minutes. I might be able to take that one up. Hey, super base. Yeah, it's, it's a great defensive skill. Yeah, I, I would not want to make a call on that as an admin. That is just like a brutal, brutal spot. Because... Because here, here's the thing, right? You always have to have to suspect, oh, they just DC it at a very interesting time. There's a chance, like, that looks like it could have been intentional. But also, like, the internet doesn't care when it makes you look bad if it goes out. Um, and I, I think it would really fall on how Dunware felt or how more experienced coaches felt. Because I think, <laughs> blame and ban the caster. Too late, Aldar. I'm already banned for a season. <laughs> uh, I had I had some uh, I had some life problems going on, so I had I had to drop. But yeah, yeah, cause like, and and I can see from both sides for for Dunware. Like, if Dunware really wants to play the game, like I think that was honestly not even like the best result so far. I just had another season of my van. Oh no. Oh no. Um, yeah, that wasn't really the best result on the wizard. Wasn't a great spot for all of this other stuff. Are you gonna see me coming to fumble? <sighs> I I haven't had the, the push to, to move over to fumble. Maybe, maybe. We'll we'll see. Oh, <laughs> uh. Yeah, that that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, let's. Uh. Yeah, there, I might I might cast the game in twenty five minutes. We'll see. But for now, we're gonna end this here. Um. Uh, Glava, actually, I am in a Blood Bowl three league, but we'll talk about that soon. TM, I, I am in a Blood Bowl three league with Corny Jim, so you will actually get to see some of that. We're gonna call that here for now. I need to. Oh, my my chat's in the wrong spot. That needs to be. Okay, that that looks a little better. But uh, yeah. So y'all have a good one. I might be streaming another game here in twenty minutes. Catch y'all later.